and welcome back to another episode of Galactic Science with the Nemgo. You, you never say that right, mate. It's Galactic Science! It might be if you're floating <clears throat> through space going, Science! It's always that way. Always. Always that way. It has to be said. If you're in a conversation in the pub and you go, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm staying up all night and I'm playing Galactic Science! Like and everybody turns around and thinks, that cool. That bloke's cool. Uh, yeah, but we're on episode 28. Right, well, let's start again then. Right, so season two of Galactic Science in. Now, let's go. And we're starting wow. with a new intro. <laughs> we, we made a lot over like the last two seconds. <laughs> so, Nem. Yes. You know, like how I do these long winded, stupid quests mm. to build stuff? No, I had not encountered you doing <laughs> long winded, stupid quests to do stuff. That we could easily do in one simple step. I'm going to do another. Because I'm amazing. What would that be? Right. Well, the easiest solution to my gunpowder sort of predicament oh, is the word I'm looking for. Predicament. Yeah. Is to just make a creeper spawner. Yes. But. Did you know that witches also drump, also drump, <laughs> also drop uh, gunpowder as well as redstone? And of course you didn't know that because I just told you. And that. sugar. Yes. All right. And all right. all right. I don't care about the rest. Just okay. those two. Okay. Right. Okay. So I am going to go in my quest for a witch. And also, you also. have to get through villagers to get to a quest for the witch. Yeah. And that means that we will have villagers and villager trading which means we have access to whatever amazing villager trades the so new villagers have friends. in this mod pack. So I can start talking to other people. What? That means I've got more people to talk to, so I've, I'm going to practice now. We're going to mm. populate the planet, so yes. And mm. meanwhile, speaking of planets, I'm you thinking of creating that. a tier 3 rocket. Um, did you, did you know, right, I've mm. made this over here. What, over where? here i know but my viewers probably haven't seen it uh, mm. so in i uh in i was bad at maths we've got to make um a button of cobble and uh, look you're I, making quadruple compressed cobble right now i made four of them you've made four some gold because you were winching about gold Quantuple. boom bedrock oh uh, yeah okay to make the bedrock drums so that you can make more hooch and things. Hooch. Oh, well. And also complete the quest. It was the quest, wasn't it? It was all the quest I wanted it for. Yeah, just the right. quest. I started off ages ago. The plan was to do that with uh, yeah, put that in there. Uh, with that set up, and I just kept forgetting to do it. So I've done it now. I feel I have accomplished something in my life. Bedrockium on tap. Um, I've set this sieving system up. Slightly extended it with some more. Oh barrels. yes, you've done that. You you did that all by yourself. It's got Venus surface rock, Venus subsurface rock, and Venus rock. That it's are very now orange, isn't it? The Venus stuff, yeah. Venus yeah. is very orange, and it's just finishing up what it's um, quarried up so far. The quarry's been running between episodes. So how and, does that get up? There? Oh, that comes from the bottom, doesn't it? And the quarry is still running. The quarry's still taking out from those four chunks that we started it off in. So it's he still says working. Thing comes through. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's coming through. It's coming through. Uh, I put a void on the chest sorting barrel for the cobble, so that just voids off quickly. The sorting chest automatically puts things in the right barrels, basically, uh, including the surface rock and stuff goes upstairs into those barrels, and all the ores go into these barrels, ready for some sort of processing. So really, the only one we're really interested in is this crystal one. Is that right? Uh, well, the sapphire and the ruby both have uses in galactic science. Where's the sapphire? The two next to the crystal one. That's a sulfur. Sulfur, sorry. Sulfur <laughs> and ruby. Sapphire <laughs> is another one I'm thinking of because we I need to like, have Pluto for sapphire. I was like, am I losing the plot here? So the first four, iron, copper, tin and all that, just need a quick processing, which yeah. I just basically put a furnace down somewhere and have them running straight through a furnace automatically. The sulphur and the ruby, I'm going to slightly process. Do you mind? Slightly process, slightly quicker. Nom, 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 potatoes. Nom, 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 nom. Process slightly differently, and the crystal ore, I'm probably just going to keep up there for now. But I was thinking, shall I do all this on camera, or shall I do it between episodes? And to be honest, setting up a furnace and having these things go into the furnace automatically, 
I think it's pretty self-explanatory how it's going to work. So I'm going to leave that and do something else instead today. Uh, I'll process them as I need to, and I'll set up an As and when. Thing. As yeah. and when. I've got a little vanilla furnace set up over here, which is just for, um, processing iron at the minute. I can just throw some of those ores up into this, and it'll process them automatically. What I intend on doing in the future, though, is making some more electrical furnaces. Maybe some uh, electrical furnaces from Ender I.O., such as the, uh, was it Sagmill? Not Sagmill. Yeah, there's an electric furnace in, in that in there. There's also the very expensive electric furnace from Nuclear Craft, which costs tons of iron, which we can probably afford to do as well. Uh, we've got all the RF we need for it, so I've got furnace in ability. I'm going to set that up down there and just show the viewers as and when. Um, so for today, while you're working on getting zombie villagers and villagers and all yeah. that kind of stuff sorted out, I'm going to get processing to make a Tier 3 rocket. So you start talking, talk the people... Uh, why is that through, not going in there? Oh, there we go. Talk the viewers through so that while I have, I'm doing this. I have made, why, why are you making that rocket? So what I've done is I've moved the RF set up over here because we are in a bubble, which I can't show you because I've decided to build everything on top of the bubble thing because I'm clever. I know them. I am really, aren't I? You are very clever. Um, so this should hopefully be making... There we go. You're no good to us. This is going to be so... Get... Why? Oh, there we go. Didn't know that. You can't hit a mob through a... Uh... Through a bubble. A gate is the word I'm looking for. You can't hit a mob through a gate? No. What kind of gate are we talking about here? A normal a normal fence gate. A normal <laughs> fence gate? Really? Yeah. Yeah, okay. really. I've just I've just done it. So yeah, this is this is going to be a bit long-winded, isn't it? Really, because I need a villager. A villager zombie, zombie. from mm. the zombies. Okay. Well, come on. I'm just making a load of plates in a very noisy, banging, compressing chamber, and you're now just waiting for a zombie villager. Yeah, and I've just left the gate open because I'm clever. So we should we just cut back in a few minutes? I, th I think we should because it's I, I, yeah going to be here like forever. Okay, Never. we'll cut back in just a few minutes, folks, to show you the next stage. Okay, so, Ego completed a quest which gave us the schematic for a Tier 3 rocket, didn't you, bud? I did, yeah. I went to visit Uncle Sam. Uh, what was the quest, exactly? Uh, sorry, it's uh, Wills. Silly, silly Wills! That's the other one in the book as well. Silly Willy. Yeah, it's the other one in the book, isn't it? He's the one at the end of the book, is he? Uh, yeah, the one at the very bottom. Silly Willy's space junk. That's it. And so what was it? Schematics? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we get the NASA workbench schematic for a diamond block. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. And also another schematic as and well. I, which I, I scrimped and I saved to get that. The diamond, diamond block. block. And an automatic cargo rocket was the other one we got from it. Okay, cool. <laughs> So that gives me the ability to load in the design for the tier 3 rocket into the rocket launcher thing. All I need now is a load of these tier 3 things. And I started making a load of tier 3 heavy duty plates. Nearly got there. It's still processing tons of them right now. Uh, can I... I don't know if I can leave these in as a crafting recipe. I don't think I can. Like those. Okay, so that's... Yeah, that's the first section done. So I need six to one side to do those. I just need to make all the little component parts as I'm crafting them. So there's tier boosters. They're not too hard. Compressed meteorites and bits and pieces. Got lots of different things to craft up. But generally, this is just working. I need to put the meat. Actually, this is the sorting system here. All sorted all out. The dash is now all done. That's good. And this stuff just needs this tier 2 heavy duty plate mixed with dash to make the tier 3 plates. And I've got 10 there. I think I need about another 10 for the component parts. Actually, more like 15 for the component parts. So we'll get those working out. And get back the meteoric iron. I've got two left. I've got plenty of dash left. I should be good to be able to make everything I need in this. I've got a load of these heavy duty plates as well now. So we should be good in a bit. I'm going to craft everything up and then be back in a bit. Okay, well this is the uh, hard way of doing the uh, meteoric iron. 
but kind of the easiest than running around trying to find meteorites. We've got meteorites everywhere, but running around and yeah, taking them out one at a time is a pain in the butt. So I'm using the ones that we've sieved up and the RR pickaxe to just like do nine, uh, nine at a time, break nine at a time. Oh yeah. Can you enchant these RR pickaxes? Don't know. It might be cool to get fortune on it, so I could just get pop fortune it. Because I need loads of this meteoric iron. And so the final part of the making a rocket puzzle has been created. I did lots and lots of smashing stuff together while Ego spent lots of time smashing zombies in the face. So and many zombies. So many zombies. And now I think I've got everything that I need together to make the tier rocket, the tier 3 rocket, and explore the rest of the universe. Or the rest of the galaxy, at least. Because it seems that we need to unlock um, at least Pluto, for instance, before we can do anything, um, anything with the higher tier tech mods. So we need to get this tier 3 rocket. And it fits that I finish off Galactic Craft first before moving on to another tech mod. Oh my days, this looks like a massive, massive rocket. This is huge. <laughs> I'm at Venus, by the way. You're on Venus, getting some XP. Yeah, you should see it. It's lovely. <laughs> is it lovely this time of day? Do you want, did, you, did you say to me you needed some yellow wool? Uh, no, I've already got it. I, there was two... Oh. Uh, Daffodil daisy things. What are they called? Daffodils. Dandelions. Dandelions. Start. Whatever. So uh, right, we've got like a little bit a of, a, of dandelions here. a farm going on now. Can I? Yeah. A flower oh. farm. We've got a flower farm going on. Oh my god, that rocket looks awesome. Tier 3 rocket. As far as I can tell, there's no other tier of rocket. There's a tier 1, a tier 2, and a tier 3. So in theory, this tier 3 rocket should take me everywhere. You know it's going to Well, I've got to go and find out. That's the next part of the quest, to find out. Because now we can end the quarry anywhere in the... Um, anywhere in the... Uh, yeah, the place that we call our solar system. We can explore any of the planets. We can set up our teleporter at the space station to be teleporting us to any place we want to go. Those kind of things we need to get set up before we start next episode. So that we can then claim any materials that we need to at this level in order to go in any other direction for any other mod that we want to go in. Uh, it seems to be loading fairly quickly. Let's have a quick look in the inventory. Fuel tanks are filling up nicely. Yes, this is good. Uh, filling up pretty quick. Good. And I'll just leave the rocket for a moment because I don't really want to be... Uh, rushing off without food and supplies and all that kind of stuff and i don't know where i'm going to land or how i'm going to land just yet let's just make sure my... hopefully you land on your feet hopefully i well, land I on my if feet you land on your head it'd be that would be nice painful. yeah don't land on your head um i'm gonna i'm gonna chance it the first time without the teleporter gear and i'm gonna rely on the fact that i've got my charged porter Right, so I can teleport back here. Yeah, but you'll leave your thing, won't you? I can break the, the landing craft and the rocket and the platform and all that and bring that I'll back bring with the, me. Yeah. But at least I can have a look first. Because some of the planets that we go to, like Mercury didn't really have a lot. Mercury had subsurface rock, rock, and didn't really have a lot of stuff. It made some cobblestone. There may be a material on Mercury that we need, an ore of some kind, but that isn't exactly what I'm going for, is it? No. Um, I don't think there's anything I need that I haven't got on me already, so I am just going to go for launch. Um, yeah. You do it, then. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to launch this Tier 3 rocket that's just taken me about three quarters Four of an hours. hour to make uh, and uh, head on up to whichever part of the galaxy. Oh, man, that's loud. Whichever part of the solar system I happen to be good at going to. Let's see if it unlocks everything this time, and then we can go I'm, anywhere. I'm watching two spiders be on the I'm off, off, off and away! There are so many meteorite holes around us. I'm not going to be able to hear you at all over the rocket game noise. Rockets are so loud. This rocket does look amazing. 
the tier three is immense. I just need to get to the uh, the loading screen for the planets to see which planets we can actually visit now. Okay, we're all all open. Okay, so Mercury. We've been to Mercury. That was a tier two. So we'll set something up on Mercury, but at the minute there's nothing of value there that we know of. Venus. We went to Venus, now we've quarried Venus, and we've found that there's only a couple of things that we've now got a stock of that are valuable on there. Uh, there was a few dungeons, but the dungeons really didn't even do anything, did it? There was nothing, was it, in the dungeons? Uh, Mars, we've already got Mars. That's unlike the inner, uh, the inner rings around the sun. Um, Mars we've already been to, and there's only really Deshaw, which we probably need to run a quarry to get a load of that sorted out. Yeah. Asteroids is a tier three. The asteroids themselves. Now it's got a big red ring around it. Like, um, I'm not sure if I want to go to the asteroids or not. Now, hold on. Aren't, the asteroids aren't a planet, are they? They're, uh... They're asteroids, yeah. Yeah, so I think you need to get a grapple. <clears throat> Grappling up to jump across between yeah. them. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to do that just yet then. Uh, Jupiter is tier question mark. No! Oh, that was close. Saturn is tier question mark. Uranus is tier question mark. And Neptune is tier question mark. So none of those we can go to in a tier three. No. So does that mean they're actually in the pack? I don't know. I don't know if they're available. I don't think the planets is uh, a four mod, is it? It does say four planets. So we know that the overworld with the moon and Mars are in normal galactic craft. The asteroids, I think, are in normal galactic craft. Maybe four planets adds Mercury, Venus, and Pluto into the mix. I don't know. But anyway, I can't go anywhere other than Pluto or asteroids. So I'm going to go to Pluto. See what's in Pluto. There's nothing around Pluto, so it is just literally Pluto. So I'm going to go to Pluto right now and land on Pluto and see what happens. I'm uh, I'm going pretty fast towards the ground, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I've, slow I've, down a I've little hit bit. The ground. I'm now dead. I'm now dead. Yeah, that's <laughs> not quite. <laughs> that's what I, was waiting for. I don't see the land in front of me just yet. It's not loaded in. So oh, now it's coming into land. Now I need to slow down to ten, ten miles a second. I could just let it go a bit faster. And what time of day are we on? Um, looks like we're on the middle of the night. This is going to be epic time oh, to land. Oh, that's brutal, mate. Brutal. Uh, well, I've, I'm here. And I'm off. And can I get the rocket? Yes, I've got the rocket. Now, break the landing platform thing. Okay. I am on Pluto, on my own, right now. And, oh my days, you can jump really high. The la gravity levels are lots lower. Oh, yes, you can jump so high, so high. Um, but I don't see any mobs around, even though... Well, I can't no, actually see day. a sun. I can't see a sun. Uh, Although yeah. the sun may be that far away that it looks uh, yeah. cold sun. Because there's something up there, and it's obviously not a moon. So that must be the sun, but sun so far away because it'll be cold on this planet. It's a good job I've got my thermal padding. Otherwise, I'd probably be taking some sort of cold damage or something. Mm. Um, I'm just going to have a quick, like, general jump around and see if I can see any, like, big places before I start digging down. And I will be back in the next segment after I've decided that there's nothing worth looking for on the surface. And I'll start digging down to see what ores we can find. I just found sapphire ore on Pluto. I suppose we know there's something there. Well, there's one thing there, yeah. Y45. And they come in quite large lumps as well, by the looks of it. Uh, uses of make sapphires. And that's pretty much it. But the uses of sapphire, we can make sapphire armors. And generally the same things as rubies, but we can also make the Star Harvester from Supermassive Tech, which I believe was a quest somewhere. I think it might be, yeah. Yeah, so that's six of those sapphire crystals. And also I can make them down into the plates for the Galactic Science, which goes with sapphire plates, unipentium plate, and frozen iron plate. I'm guessing the unipentium and the frozen iron I also need to find in Pluto. Because that then makes the next heavy duty plate tier six. 
<gasps> oh my days, tier six rockets or technology of some kind. All right, so I'm uh, underground, like at bedrock level on Pluto. You're Just, a womble, aren't you? I'm trying to find the things that we need, and I'm not having much success, really. I'm getting lots of this sapphire stuff and frozen iron ore. But I'm not finding any of the other core material that I needed for something in galactic science. And I'm pretty sure that that's where it was coming from. In galactic what? Galactic science. So galactic science. Yes, that one. Um, oh, you die, you silly skelly. I'm just... It was un unpetium. And I haven't found any un unpetium yet. I found a fallen meteor. I'm trying to find out where it's from. There's this. It's an ore. That yeah. It's an it's an ore, and it's got to be on here somewhere. Uh, meanwhile, in your episode, what are you up to? Uh, I have uh, managed to get myself a zombie villager called Derek, Derek. Who, who stole my golden apple, which was quite funny. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, <laughs> and I'm slowly in the process of leveling up to get to the point where I can make a spawner, a villager spawner. A hopefully. villager spawner, yes. Hopefully. So we are doing crossed. the grind this episode, aren't we? This I'm grinding it, this should... way, you're grinding that way. It's, it's super grindy. Two completely different episodes recorded at the same time on two planets. Three. Well, technically three because you're on Venus. Oh, no. What's you up? know those awesome picks? Yeah. I just broke one. Oh, no, that's why you should always take two. I haven't got a second one. I have. That, that means I've got to come home. I didn't find the ore, though, so no great loss. Well, if you're still... going home, you can check on... Oh, you're nowhere near the thing, are you? Nowhere near what? Oh, no, you can come straight home, can't you? Yeah, I can come straight home. I I'll can find, come straight I'll home. I'll find another village on Venus. I would just like to get my uh, um, moon buggy first. I left my moon buggy on the surface when I found a cave. Are you, like, really deep in a cave? I was literally at bed bedrock level. Do you know and what? And upstairs was, like, massive... I'm actually going to have to watch your episode. You are actually going to have to, yes, indeed. Actually, um, they are completely different. Because they literally are completely different today, apart from the fact that we're both talking at the same time here. <laughs> but I'm coming home. Uh-oh. No! What? The charge well, porter Derek's has there. no target. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, oh no. It's not linked. Oh my days. That means I've got to go back up and refuel the rocket and launch from there. Dang it, man. I've got to launch back, which means I've got to get back to the surface somehow. Proper grindy. Uh, yep. Well, and all the creepers and everything in this place is immense. It's like, they blow up and they make huge amounts of damage and blow you all over the place. And I can't place cheaty torches anymore either. All right, well, I'll be back in a bit. All right, so I have escaped. I've got my uh, buggy fuel loader and launching platform and my tier three rocket all set up right up on a mountaintop because it seems to be dark out and the mobs are following me all around. I couldn't do it on a flat piece of land. I had to come up to the top of a mountain so that they make it very difficult for them to traverse up to me while I get it all filled up and sorted out. I can go through the launch sequence. Um, I think everything's going to be okay, though. I think I've got everything I need now, uh, except for the thing that we were looking for originally. That's cookies. The cookies, yes, because I don't seem to have cookies. Uh, where am I? Get out of the rocket. Right, yeah, I need to just quickly take my coal generator and my fuel thingy again. Oh, I keep taking that magnet out because it's annoying, and then I really need it. <laughs> you, you take it off because I'm collecting all sorts of zombie rubbish and everything, and then I actually need it to, to get me into the picking up stuff I want to keep. Right, so I'm ready to launch once again, and I will meet you... On the moon, buddy. On the moon, baby. So, I landed on the moon. Well done, about a thousand blocks in every direction away from home. With one oxygen can left. And now I'm just bouncing along the moon's surface at night time. Trying to avoid as many mobs as possible. 
I've already had like a tribe of spiders just chasing me along. But I will make it. I'm not too far away, really. For a whole tank of oxygen, I should be able to get back. Put the kettle on, Ego. No, it won't fit me. <laughs> oh, please. I'm on my way back. I'm being chased by spiders. I, I try and time it so that when they uh, just about to hit me, I just jump up. And then they send me flying an extra few blocks in the right direction away from them. <laughs> I survived, though. It's all good. I survived. Hey, there's a meteorite on the top of my... Uh... Yeah, you've probably already told me about that, haven't you? Yeah, I did. I told you about yeah. that one. Like okay. that. And goodbye, spiders. Time for you to die. Oh, I'm home. I made it. All the way well, to Pluto and back. Hey, spiders, get up. Get die with you, thank you. Aha, uh -huh. and how are you getting on over here? I'm doing good. Uh, I've got a zombie in a vial, a zombie villager in a vial, should I say, and we have uh, Derek. He's locked away safely. Ow! Um, you're getting beaten up by zombies. Are you winning that one for the XP? Yeah, I'm just, just getting a bit of XP. Got to get to level 30 again. I just took some of your XP, so I'm going to move away a bit. What is going on up here? What? They're all bouncing everywhere. I've got a knockback on my sword, haven't I? Oh, wait. Right. That's why I'm doing it in the, this little... You're doing it in here so they don't die because of the bubble as well. Well, no, I'm doing it in this two-by-one gap here where they come out. To come and get to you, or come and get to the villager. I can hear a... Oh, there's a baby around here. Hey, baby. How you doing? Uh... And lots of zombie heads. <laughs> You've been doing good. I don't want to give too many spoilers away for your episode. So I'm going to cut here, get myself all tidied up and sorted out, and uh, be back in a mo. Come on, then. Let's go back to Derek's chamber. Was it I... Derek? Could be David. I don't know. <laughs> it's David Essex. <laughs> right, so we're going to put... Where where is David anyway? Oh, you put him in a soul vial, didn't you? Yeah, Der Derek. Say it was Derek. That was it. Derek. Uh, Derek. Okay. Now now we're making. Can he be? Can he Doris. be David? Uh, make... right. uh, so I need to th throw that potion on him, buddy. Pour some potion on him. Don't go in there. <laughs> yeah, I nearly fell in last time. Uh, so I do that. Yeah, and then I'll go in there. Give him a little click. Oh, no. Why, why is it? What are you doing? I'm trying to get to him so I can click him. Come from the top. That's why I did it. He's in. Quick. He's out. He's all about. I've got a slight problem with your plan. <laughs> uh, from right. the top, you say? From the top. Is he still, okay. he's still got things? Right, so. Yeah! Right. Oh man, that's so noisy! He looks very small compared to the other one. He's probably just half in the block that you so, spawned him onto. Yeah, maybe. So this is the plan, right? Where did you go? I'm on. I I'm on you. Yeah. <laughs> so you've now, got a plan. Obviously, because we're running out of time, and obviously because we can't stick the, the zombie in to make a zombie spawner. Which, when when I even say that, what are you going over there for? Because he's noisy. I can't hear him. I've not got my thing in. Um, let's go over here because so we're in oxygen. Okay. Right. Since we can't make a zombie what, spawner, uh, sorry, a villager spawner, which when you say it, sort of makes sense. It's not a hostile mob spawner. Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to do some old school vanilla breeding. Well, I am. Uh, so now we have two villagers. Oh, that's what you wanted the second one for. Yeah, we're going to breed them. I'm going to so get my priest. Now. I'm going to get my priest. Then I can put him in witch water to get a witch and then I can make a witch spawner for the love of god I hope I can make a witch spawner so we've got to make the village breeding first to get as many villagers as possible yes. one of them's going to be the one the which one. is a priest he's, he's going to be the chosen one and then that chosen one ends up being the witch and then the witch becomes a spawner Yes, hopefully. Maybe. Oh my days. Tune in next episode, folks, to find out if we succeed. Sounds like a perfect plan, really. Yeah, well, this sounded like a perfect plan. Well, you, you, you tried it. You spent four hours and it sort of... You got the first villager. You still needed the second villager. You could have done the same thing to get two villagers. All we really did was uh, level up to level 30 to do the spawner thing. 
for yeah. the one that we can't do. <laughs> yeah, that's it, isn't it? It's fine. Everything's good. And I've been to Pluto, and I got lost, and I got home, and now it's all good, and we're ready to do some off-camera work, ready for the next episode. We shall do that. Thank you very much, folks, for watching. See you later, guys.